This is really really great to see how much the game has changed ever since it's been revealed to the public or simply ever since I made a video on it. This single developer is getting immense support for his upcoming open world survival horror game Choo Choo Charles. And so he had been super quiet for some time now, working on tons of new gameplay features, tons of new locations, new story elements, new enemies and also new behaviors and attacks for Charles himself. The official release date gameplay trailer of the game just released and the developer was kind enough to give me official details on the game so let's jump right into it and make sure you guys stay tuned later on for those new details they actually sound exciting now first of all guys Choo Choo Charles is officially coming this December 9 2022 on Steam which is very soon and also later on to consoles it is a massive open world or survival game where you'll need to plan each of the missions available to you very carefully be wary when traveling on foot exploring this weird world and finding creepy groups hanging around in the forest and caves or also when switching the tracks direction Charles might be waiting for you. Go looting or complete missions to find scraps which can be used to turn your train into a death machine on wheels. You can customize the train however you want and add different kind of weapons to it and different colors. You can defeat different enemies and in the end Charles himself. You can help out the settlers in return for high powered weapons and other items vital to Charles destruction. You'll complete the main quest line and summon Charles to a mortal duel. If you've gained enough strength, firepower and skill, Charles may finally meet his match. Now here is what the developer told me, which are the new details. The game at its core will offer 19 missions, whether it be about the creepy cultist faction, escaping and fighting Charles, or even doing missions for the local townspeople. The boss fight has been completely redone, and the ending is now officially concluded. The game also now includes cutscenes, which it didn't before, and these cutscenes will have new information, new details, and new lore. Charles now has much more animations and feels much more realistic and dangerous. There's now also ambient music and a custom chase scene for Charles only. He also told me there is a ton of different secret locations in the world that are super interesting or could give you something, with lore being given and so on. You can now also change the color of your train. There's also weapon overeating and overall every single mechanics of the project has improved to make for a more enjoyable experience. Make sure you guys check out the game on Steam and make sure you support this video and subscribe to see some gameplay of it soon.